Now, just the passing comments on what we have learned till now. Uh, interesting way to kind of check our code and uh, uh, see what is happening with each and every uh, line item or code is to use the step into function. You remember we had learned step into function which actually executes each and every line one by one and uh, we can use the shortcut called F8. So let me do one thing. What we'll look at is I'll just um, uh, remove this. I'll probably remove other things as well from this chart and make this a bit smaller so that we can track what is going on in the Excel sheet as well as uh, in the chart itself. Okay. So uh, simultaneously look at what is happening here in the chart as well. I'll click here on step into okay so we are here as of now in this sub chart sample so I am clicking on F8 next so what happens when this gets executed so note that on the left hand side this range gets selected okay what happens this when the second line gets executed you can see that the whole chart is being formed which is basically the clustered chart okay so as in when I move from one line to another line you can see the corresponding changes here now we have moved to delete the legend okay so here you may note we have selected this legend and now we will delete it okay now clear to match this style is basically 24 the orange color style and that's why it changed to orange and if you think that nothing has happened when the code was run you can actually go about and delete that line as well that may not be really required see these uh, unnecessary codings are formed when we actually do things in between which we should ideally not do while we are recording the macros okay so here what are we going to do we are going to delete the grid lines so here we have selected the grid lines and then deleted it now we will be adding the chart title okay so chart title and then if when once this command gets executed uh, it should ideally ask us for the chart title so yes so it does ask us for the chart title let me uh, write this as ABC and I'll click OK so it then moves to the next one so as you can see it has still not updated here in the chart uh, I'll move it and now you can see as this uh, code gets executed it changes to ABC right so let's move forward and look at what happens next now you want to add the primary title as well so on the left hand side primary axis gets changed to fair value now next thing should happen is that we should be prompted with the worksheet name so the moment I execute this line will be prompted by the worksheet name so let me write this as ABC again and I click OK so as you can see ABC is still not formed because this command has not been executed so let me do F8 again and now you can see that there's a new sheet called ABC and this chart has been formed so this is how you can actually use F8 to uh, kind of uh, you know look at your code in a sequential order and kind of delete unnecessary codes as well pretty helpful uh, for debugging as well okay so this was all about chart which we wanted to discuss uh, in the next topic we may uh, look at user forms and how they are pretty much useful